This message is of particular interest to someone who is hurt while riding a bird scooter, or hit while they're a pedestrian by a person riding a bird scooter, or hit by a car while riding a bird scooter. People that are riding bird scooters may think that they have no recourse when they're injured because the scooter malfunctions, such as the brakes don't work, or while they're turning the scooter, the scooter suddenly drops to the ground. They, in fact, have boilerplate language in their agreement that says that they're limited only to $100 liability for assumption of the risk. But the law of assumption of the risk is clear that if there's gross negligence, then that waiver does not apply. Let me give you some circumstances. These scooter companies often have people who are servicing them who do not know what they're doing. They're learning how to service the scooters by looking at YouTube videos or by reading manuals and not getting any in-depth training. So we have situations where brakes are going out, where the scooters are, the wheels on the scooters are not working correctly because we're seeing horrendous injuries happen on scooter cases in ER rooms and in doctor's offices, including deaths. In all of these situations, we could argue gross negligence. And in that case, we could recover for a person who is injured while riding a scooter or who is injured by someone riding a scooter or injured by a car when the scooter goes out of control. So there's many situations in which we can get beyond this assumption of the risk waiver and we can collect for your injuries.